good evening and a big warm welcome to this uh, Jack Bishop Kimrose promotion from the Guildhall in Southampton. My name is Steve Holdsworth. First bout features Richie Murray from Liverpool, an awful long journey in action against James Lee. He's won four out of seven. Murray has won two out of five. But uh, both of these lads have been in with some pretty decent opponents. Now, did he say six twos or four threes? Here we go then, first round. and. Uh, I've never seen Richie Murray before, but I've seen James Lee a few times, and uh, pretty useful. And uh, James Lee, nice box fighter, very busy. Good stiff jab there, catching Richie Murray. Murray looks very strong, well put together. Comes from Toxteth in Liverpool. And there may not be much between these two at the finish. It looks like it's one of those matches that's going to be fought very cagily. Well, left hand work, body and head from Murray. What a good left hook there, just catching James Lee on the inside. Referee for this one is Ken Curtis. Oh, nice three jabs there from James Lee, and then a small uppercut as well to finish off with. And Richie Murray almost says, if whatever you can do, I can do better, but it uh, didn't come off. Strong looking fellow though, isn't he, Murray? And again, that nice jab from Lee. Four threes, I think this one must be. In fact, there's the bell to end here first, and I tell you what, there wasn't much in it, but if I had to find a winner, I might possibly just favour Jimmy Lee. And there's our lovely Donna, the uh, ring girl for this evening, wearing a very tasteful little black number. So Ronnie Davis then, and Frank Hopkins who look after, sorry my apologies, Nigel Christian, looking after James Lee and across the ring there John Rice taking care of Richie Murray along with uh, Colin Tui ex-professional by the way Richie Murray is five years older than James Lee he's 32 Murray Lee just 27 Oh, good right there from Lee. Good solid punch, that one. First round, I've got to say, was very, very tight. I think Lee possibly nicked it on that decent left hand work of his, but uh, wouldn't be at all surprised if referee Curtis found it level or even went in Murray's favour. One of those rounds. Oh, good long left hook there from Murray. Good hard punch that. Walks into a jab though. So, I've got to say, two fellows that uh, are on the up, um, relatively inexperienced, of course, still learning. Do you like the speed of that Lee jab? It's uh, very sweet. 
and normally well placed. Well, leading left hook there as well from James. And looks like he's beginning to enjoy himself out there. And uh, try as Richie Murray might. He's uh, not finding it that easy to make a dent here yet. I say yet. Because you never can tell with this game. Just one punch away from winning or losing. But uh, I think that's another round for James Lee. Although, once again, a close one. Here we go then for round two, and uh, sorry, my apologies, round three. Scheduled for 6 2 is this one. So, Richie Murray then in the black trunks with the gold piping. Very well turned out, in fact, both of these lads, aren't they? I do hate to see uh, a fighter wearing crumpled old trunks. Got to have to take some pride in your appearance when you box. Oh, Richie Murray now, using the strong arm tactics here in round three. And I suppose that could be the key to victory here for Murray, if he just keeps Lee busy. Busy, that is, in defence. Well, nice short uppercut on the inside there from Lee. But Murray throwing some dangerous looking shots. Thumping left hook from Murray, and he's uh, certainly hustling Lee out of this round. James trying to get back to his boxing. We'll say before uh, we even get to the verdict, if we get to the verdict, that uh, Ken Curtis and I rarely agree on anything. Anything, obviously, of a fistic nature, that is. Well, Murray there putting far too much into that huge missing left hook. Very tiring, of course, to miss, especially regularly. Not much left now in round three, and I've got a feeling Murray might just be nicking this one. He's been busy, although he's not been very effective. He's uh, he certainly looked the busier of the two, and uh, prevented Lee from working well. stage then of the scheduled six and uh, two rounds to one in my in my opinion in favour of James Lee at the moment one and two to him number three to Richie Murray and uh, Murray's realised he can't stand off here and give Lee the room he needs to pick up the points at long range got to try and hustle him and bustle him and knock him out of his stride but uh, as we can see when he does get the room Lee is a decent boxer
Murray though once again punching hard or at least it looks like he is Lee not uh, at all phased by that obvious power of the Scouser again Murray they're trying far too hard might just see him relax a wee bit and just uh, pick his shots that was a nice uppercut though for Murray well oh, there's not much in this one is there nicely picked left hand there from Lee Clash of heads there as well. Not much left now in round four. This of course is the halfway point. And uh, tell you what, not easy to pick here in round four. I might have to sit on the fence in fact and call it a level round. Again, lovely left hand work though from Lee. Well, that could be the difference between winning it and losing it. Well done James, bad luck there to Murray. Just exposed at the finish there So here we go then for round five. I was very tempted to call round uh, four even, but in the end I actually went for Lee. Um, so one, two and four to him, round three in favour of Richie Murray. And uh, Murray could still get something out of this one with uh, a decent finish. Murray unable really to close the gap here it's been awfully difficult for him and Lee boxing well Murray they're always threatening to overturn things with a big punch like that well Murray barnstorming here Lee bleeding from the nose I think And uh, looks like uh, Lee, after a decent start, is going to have to concede this round. And this is just the kind of finish that uh, Richie Murray was looking for. Well, decent right there from James Lee, and he caught Murray on the chin. Well, well. Oh, for that great work by Murray, and all of a sudden, it's actually Lee who lands the damaging punch. What a round that was. Good lads. Excellent stuff. Well, I'm still going to go for Murray.
Here we go then, sixth and final round of this side, this one, I tell you, it's been a humbing and the kick is off. And uh, I've got Richie Murray needing this last round to stick his draw. Um, that's only my opinion, of course. I thought he won round five, although he got tagged towards the finish. And uh, he's won three and five on my car, but one, two and four, Jamie Lee's way. And this is the thing now that Lee needs to do, get that left hand working. Although having said that, he did crack in a lovely punch in the previous round that uh, sent Murray's knees to jelly. Momentarily, big left hook there from Murray. So all the good punches then landing late in the fight. That of course is uh, fairly natural because both lads getting a bit more tired and more vulnerable to a bigger punch. Of course, as you raise the state, as you raise the uh, the stakes, the price could be high as well. Bit of damage for James Lee on that uh, left eye. Excellent work again with that left hand from Lee. And that might be the difference between winning and losing this one for Lee, because I tell you what, he's up against a very useful character here in Richie Murray, but I don't know if Murray's done just quite enough. Left hand, fight winner. It's only my opinion, of course. But if there's going to be a winner here, I think it might be Lee, although it's been a very hard one to pick this at times. So not much left now. And there's the belt, where is he going to go? He's gone, oh, that's interesting, he's gone for Richie Murray. Well, there you go, Scouser comes down and wins away from home. Well, that's interesting, and I don't think Richie Murray's enjoyed that one too much. And I don't think Ronnie Davis has either. Well, there you go. And that's an excellent win for Murray. Although.